Two separate organizations are coming together in a big way to help those that are most in need in our community. Hannah's Homeless and a unique workshop called Plarnet have together created something quite special, and they're here with us today to tell us more. Please welcome Melissa Maxey with Plarnet and Lisa Trunzo, founder of Hannah's Homeless. Ladies, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Tell us about Hannah's Homeless. How did you get this started? Um, Hannah's Homeless is near and dear to my heart. I uh, have been homeless in St. Pete for many years myself. And after I managed to get myself together, get my life together, um, I saw the need and really felt that I needed to give back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Had you lost your job? Is that what happened? I had a difficult upbringing and okay. spent a lot of time on the streets as a youth and in my early 20s. Wow. Um, sought comfort in the use of drugs and, and mm -hmm. just a really rough lifestyle for a long time. It took me quite a while to get the resources that I needed to pull myself out of that. But you're a living example that you can pull yourself out of. You've just got to want to and make the effort. Absolutely. I'm a registered nurse. I'm a homeowner. I'm a wife, a mother. Um, I live a, an amazing life, and I'm the founder of Hannah's Homeless. How so. about that? Good for you. Thank you. All right. Now let's talk about Plarnet. Tell us how you got involved with Plarning. Well, Plarning it, started <laughs> when I was walking on the beach and I started picking up trash and my husband found a hat on the beach and he brought it home and it was made of plastic bags. Okay, now when we say plarning, it's plastic uh, yarning, like you're, you're knitting with plastic. Exactly, okay. it's uh, plastic yarn. <laughs> so this is actually an example of a plarn ball, okay. which is made from plastic bags from the local grocery stores. Okay, now how do you plarn? Well, what you do is you learn how to chop up the bags, okay. and then you tie them together in a slip knot, and then you can either crochet, if you know how to crochet, you can knit, you can actually macrame. Um, there's a whole thing, if you Google Plarn, uh -huh. you enter this whole world. The Plarn world. The dun, Plarn dun, dun. world of <laughs> all the different things you can make. All right, and these are some examples of what you've made. Describe what's on the table here. Well, I do need to make a shout out to the <laughs> Plarn ladies. Uh, BJ, who make, is in the process of making a mat for the homeless. Okay. Cindy made our first mat, and Jenny made this item mm -hmm. uh, she came to a planet workshop mm -hmm. she already knew how to crochet uh -huh. um, so she made the flower and then she just looked up a, a pattern online and came up with this so this okay. could be used for a variety and of things how long does it take to make something like this well it depends on uh, how good you are at crocheting this could take maybe four or five hours but in this sample there's probably at least a hundred plastic bags that have been recycled. Wow. That's fantastic. Where do you get your plastic bags? Anybody well, and everybody? Uh, now everybody knows about us, so they're delivering oh, plastic bags. Oh, you got plastic bags coming out your ears, but I bet. But most importantly, <laughs> though, these are newspaper bags. So a lot of times people, you know, oh, sure. they get their newspaper bags and they don't know what okay. to do with it. So All right. It adds color. Now, you mentioned the mats, the ladies who've made these mats. This is where the two of you are coming together to help the homeless. Let's talk about that. How did this happen and what are you doing? Well, um, I met one of Lisa's board members named BJ in the park when we went out to do a video for Hannah's Homeless. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had my original bag with me, and I said, we need to start making mats for the homeless. She said, I'm all in. So it was a tie between BJ with Hannah's Homeless and me meeting her at an event that Lisa wow. was doing in the park. And you actually had a donation recently. Let's take a look at that picture now and talk about what you did here. That mat is so special because it's the very first mat that was crocheted by the girl in the middle, Lee, uh, Cindy. Mm -hmm. um, Cindy came to a workshop and she used over 700 bags to make that mat. We actually donated it to the Hannah's Homeless Organization yesterday. Excellent. How many people are you helping through your organization, Hannah? I mean, Melissa. <laughs> <Lisa. laughs> At this point, we're seeing roughly 150 people a week. And wow. we provide clothes, food, hygiene items, and resources, uh, resource information and referrals so people can get into shelters, um, you know, abuse centers or detox, uh, job fairs, anything that they need help with. We can pretty much get them connected if we can't help them directly. All right. Lisa, thank you. Melissa, no you keep learning, would you? I will. Great stuff. Looking for workshop. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll be back right after this.